Okay. Uh, yes! Die! All of you! Die! <laughs> oh, the repair bill. Thankfully, it is free. We have found silver, and we have also found the free dragon eggs that will help us summon the next forsaken boss. But what our mountain did not have was the Vekvisir stone. And that is not so great because we really needed the Vekvisir stone to show us the location of the next forsaken boss. But at least we do know the location of four other mountains. And two of them are actually located on the main island. And of course this wouldn't have been Valheim if it doesn't rain the moment we have to travel really, really, really far on foot. But it is what it is, we'll get there eventually. I kinda do wanna use the Ikefa buff to be able to run faster, but I also want to use it when it's necessary. But hey, at least we are leaving the meadows and it looks like the sun is fighting through. Awesome! We might as well make a campfire, and then we'll remove the wet debuff. Hopefully it doesn't rain once we enter the Black Forest, but that would of course be typical Valheim. It doesn't look like that it's going to rain here in the Black Forest, so we are a little bit lucky for now. I'm sure that the game will definitely set us up to something that we are definitely not going to like. Oh. Oh, kick. So, uh, what's the plan now? This is Valheim! Let's get some... Oh, okay, he staggers me. Maybe I can actually... If I do this... Yeah! I'm the best around, but even the skeleton is gonna keep me down. Right, so we are at the border of the Black Forest leading up to the mountain biome. So what we are going to do, because it is getting nighttime, I will be making a portal so we can go home, I think. Yeah, I just need a crafting table. Let's go over here. And then we'll make the portal... And then we'll go back to the main base, and then we'll sleep, get the rested buff. There we go. For a moment, I thought we had forgotten what the other tag was, but, I mean, it works. Then we'll sleep, and then we'll come back to the mountain, and then we'll try and look for a Vekvisi stone. We have two mountains on the main island that we haven't discovered yet, so I will be quite surprised if one of them won't at least contain a Vekvisi stone. Okay, a new day. All the baddies have despawned. We'll just remove all of this so we have the materials for later when we need to go back home. Yeah, I'm not going to run the entire way back home if I can avoid it. I'm not looking for silver. I'm not looking for obsidian. I am just looking for areas where I can find the Vekvisir stone because right now the most important thing for us except for surviving is to find the location of the next boss. Which is also why I'm using the gear that we are using with the bronze items and the huntsman bow. Because I'm thinking we'll need all that for the boss fight. And if we die here, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it would suck to die because we'll be losing all of our skills, but skills come back, gear lasts forever. Oh, hey, Wolfie. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it like this. Oh, yeah. Okay, seeing a fortress is actually a very good sign because that means maybe there's a Vekvisir stone. And in my last series, I actually managed to find the altar next to the fortress. So maybe the ruins or the fortress or whatever it is, is a indicator for a boss location. I'm not sure. And I am just wasting all of my fire arrows right now. So uh, how's life? Pretty boring, I guess. For those who doesn't know, that is a weak spot. I mean, it's quite painfully obvious, but when you turn around, I'm trying to teach people. Valheim in a nutshell. Oh, this is th this is not cool. Oh, come on. Really? Valheim, god damn it. Okay, let's go into this fortress here because I have no idea how many enemies that'll be surrounding me in this kind of weather. So we'll just stay here and weather the storm. Oh, Odin, this is going to last until nighttime, isn't it? I think it's already nighttime. Well, at least we are near the Black Forest, just in case we need to run back to safety. Wait, can I build here? Oh, I can. Okay, so crafting table. And I guess we'll just teleport back home and then sleep through everything. Okay, it's definitely from here. And then we tag it with T. Rooms are correct, yes. Let's go back and sleep. Guess I'll have to make a few more fire arrows at some point, but we are currently on a mission, so I'll do that later. Then we'll teleport back to the mountain, and hopefully we won't fall down from the location where we have the teleporter. Okay, nice. Daytime, no storm. This is perfect. Now the question is, does this ruin contain any Vekvisir stones? I am not sure if it's the same rule that applies to the mountain as it does in the Black Forest, but the second you see a ruin like this in the Black Forest, you definitely want to look it up because you never know if it contains a Vekvisir stone. But it doesn't look like there's a Vekvisir stone here. 
The adventure must continue. Yeah, I'm not sure. Does this actually contain anything? There's a chest down there at least. But we are not here looking for treasure. I know, I know, it's a deadly sin as a viking not looking for treasure, but we're here for Vekvisi stones. I see another ruin over there. Maybe, just maybe it contains a Vekvisi stone. It does contain a Vekvisi stone. Now, please tell me you are actually inside the mountain biome and not a black forest thing. Nice, it does show motor. Awesome, let's find a safe spot so we can discuss what we need to do. Oh god, no, no. Hit them both. Okay, good. Hit them both. Okay, good, good, good. Get some stamina. Hit them both. Okay, okay. Come on, both of you. Hit them both. Okay. I'll do this. And then it should be ready again. I missed. This is my death. Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, die, you. <sighs> really? Am I... Okay, they're not attacking me. Okay. Let's get some stamina. And our sanity back. Yeah, you two fight. You two fight. Good. While you two fight, I'll go for safety. At least I hope it's safety. Now that we are relatively safe up here, we can finally take a look at the map at where the motor boss is. Okay, he's up here. I think it's on the same island because we are connected to this piece of land and it just goes all the way up here. Maybe there's water between here, I don't know. But since we have to travel with the eggs and other kind of resources, then I'm guessing we'll just take the boat up north and then we'll see how it looks. But first things first, we need to get out of here. I guess we'll just build a workbench and then we'll just place the portal. And if you want to keep the, the wood, we'll just take the crafting table with us and then we'll teleport home. A skeleton surprise? Oh god, is this a skeleton raid? I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Oh! Okay, let's uh, jump over here. I literally just got out of bed. Let's eat. Yeah, you have no chance, buddy. I'll just hunker down here. And for some reason, they've spawned inside the base. I. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, how, how is it? It's bad. It's very bad. Let's eat. Jesus! Out of the door here. Pop this. Uh, why doesn't it work? Oh, you can't consume that right now. Okay, okay. Run, 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 run. <laughs> what? What is going on? Look at all. <laughs> Look at all the skeletons. Oh my god. Okay, okay. This is this is actually fun. Uh, uh, we almost died. I mean, look how many there are. Up this. Oh, we oh we are rested. Okay, okay. Oh, they are breaking so much of my stuff. Let's go over here. I need my hammer. Where's my hammer? Oh my god. What I would give for a giant hammer right about now. Okay, that's the fire. Good. We have that one active. Screw this. We are doing this. Jump up here. I know they are tired of fighting, but I am not. Okay. Uh, yes! Die! All of you! Die! <laughs> Oh, the repair bill. Thankfully, it is free. The mighty stack strikes again. Oh, you done did it now. Oh, that didn't stop you. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Why not use an AoE to destroy my house even further? Some of these raids, I mean... Yeah. Good work, Valheim. Good work. Now that we are fully repaired, we have restocked all the items that we currently need, and we have the eggs with us. Let's go see if we can find that altar. I thought I saw the sea serpent. Oh, yeah. There's the sea serpent. Hey, guy. Let's just eat some sausages. It has definitely seen us. Let's go to the Black Forest. Hopefully, there won't be a troll. Yeah, come on, my friend. Yeah, it's probably going to take a few bites on the boat. So we have enough. Oh, wait, no, the wood is in here. Let's just take 15. Then we'll throw the 
workbench here. No, don't attack the deers. Oh, it's always the deers. Let's go with the frost arrows. Oh. Oh, look at the damage. We don't even have to use the arrows. We can just use the polearm here. Come. Come on. No. Yes, we'll use the arrows. Whoa, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This is not good. I did not see the actual uh, two-star here. What the... Elheim. Stop doing this. There we go. I can do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Then we'll do this. We'll kite a little bit because this is definitely going to hurt. We'll let him shoot once. Then we'll stun him. I guess we can't stun him. I mean, this is just typical. We are in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's a small chance that there are a few skeletons and whatnot. And of course, it's a two star, right? It's not only a two-star skeleton, it's an archer. We'll pop this. We'll make him shoot. And we hopefully he'll get stunned. Nope. Dodge through here. And actually, we'll just make the uh, critters kill him. Who cares? Come on. Kill him. Yeah, kill him. You can do it. Good work, guys. Okay. My turn. My turn. I know you're celebrating right now, but... Um, I'm going to be that guy in a battle royale that kills you before you can even get your loot from the guy you have recently killed. I'm pretty sure since it's the night time, the sea serpent is still around. There he is. We definitely did hit him because we got a skill. Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. We definitely won't be able to get the scales. Because we are out here where we cannot get them. Oh, there we go. Die. But we're only here for the meat anyway, so who cares? It's so typical. Typical of Valheim to do stuff like that. Never ever drop your guard, regardless of how safe you feel. Because Valheim will do everything in its power to kill you. Well, at least with the current wind direction and this speed, we'll probably be there around daytime. But this is nothing new. We are used to this. I mean, it is Valheim after all, right? Okay, I see what you're doing here, Valheim. What about summoning... Sea serpents. What about a few more of them? What about death skeetos coming from the middle of nowhere? Because there is like a tad piece of plain dirt on in front of me. Or what about raves? What about... Uh, come on, you can do it. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised at this point, okay? I <laughs> oh, the fog is lifting. Thank you. Does this mean you are just trying to show me what is going to kill me soon? And now the fog is back. I guess we managed to scratch the borderline for the swamp or the black forest or whatever. Wait, black forest? Why does it say black forest? I, I don't get it. Is there one tree somewhere nearby? A fake black forest? Okay, this is weird. We are actually quite close. So maybe we should just... You know what? Let's just go back to the black forest. And then we'll run from there. We'll do a little bit of scouting to see how big the plains is. This means I'll probably have to move each individual egg for quite some distance. But it is what it is. We'll have to work with what we have. I prefer taking a little bit longer and doing it a little bit safer. Than just risk everything. Looks like the locals are fighting each other. We have a skeleton fortress. And a great wolf fortress. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, anchor the boat here. It's definitely not the safest area, but it is what it is. Oh, we definitely need wood and stone. And there we have the planes and we have the devskidos. And I think I've been spotted. I hope not. Keep the, the bow ready. No? Okay. I do think it's on the same island. I can see the mountain over there, or maybe it's that one. I'm not sure. Maybe it's both. But I hope that we don't have to cross the plains in order to get to the mountain. It kind of would be a typical Valheim moment if the entire mountain biome was covered around the plains. I mean, you can go get the boss if you want, but I mean, you have to cross the plains. But I mean, does Valheim become that cruel sometimes? Yeah. Let's just rest here for a moment so we can get the 8 minute rested buff. Just so we have a little bit more stamina regeneration. I have a feeling that we are going to need it. Oh, there we go. Remove the campfire. We do not want to litter here in the forest. Oh, great. I forgot my stuff from the ship, which means I can't make a portal. Which means I either have to run back to the ship 
in order to make the portal so I can go back and sleep, or we are just going into the mountain in the middle of the night. And I used the frost resistance meal, so I guess we'll go in in the middle of the night. I mean, it's not night time yet, but it won't take too long. But let's just explore what we can, so it hasn't been completely wasted. Jesus, this it is a very big area. Damn, it's all the way over there. Another drake. We do have a house here. Let's just see if it has anything in the chest that we need. I mean, we can always use more coins. And, oh, okay. I mean, I was walking over here, but I didn't see the cave. Good thing I went over here. Yeah, I actually think the plains does cover the entire mountain, except for the area where we came from. Or maybe over here somewhere, I don't know, but this was definitely the right choice, at least for now. Okay, we are very close to the boss, but I don't like the terrain. Like, I really, really do not like the terrain around here, because it looks like we'll have to jump a lot, spend a lot of stamina going back and forth, because the EV8 so much. But let's see, maybe it's uh, green on the other side. Are you freaking kidding me? What is the swamp doing here? We have three archers over there? This makes no sense. Why are you here? <laughs> Let's hope Frost is very good against those guys. Okay, at least I one-shot them. Where's the last one? I can't see anything. Where's the last one? Right, we need our three eggs in total. One on each spot here. And then we'll click on the sacrificial altar. And motor will be activated. I mean, I, I don't hate the arena, but I definitely don't like it either. We do have some place to run around with. However, we need to prepare this area a little bit because of Moda's one ability that will one-shot us. I mean, at this point, I think Moda will one-shot us regardless, but it's easier to dodge melee abilities compared to his ranged. He has two faces. He'll fly up and do a little area splash assault. So we will be making some pillars around. Just so we have a few places where we can hide for the assault. But yeah, first things first, we need to get those eggs. And we'll just have to run all... Wait, wait, wait. Let's see here. Do we have to run all the way back? We have some black forest here. Oh, wait, no. This is not... Yeah. It's the plains. Is that the plains? Is that the black forest? I, I don't know. We have a very thin, fake black forest in front of here. And then we have the swamp and the plains. So we are definitely going to have to run from the ship from the location where we already are. Which is okay, at least we now know the direction and which path to take. But man, this is one aggressive mountain. This is going to take a very, very long time. But at least we know what to do and um, what happened here? Oh, a troll, okay. I think it was the same troll we saw on the way over here. And we have a bunch of skeletons, so I guess the skeletons started to attack the troll. I mean, we might as well finish the job. He does not look like a regular troll to me. Oh, okay. He's a one or two star. Oh, damn it. This is not good. Definitely not good. And he has a stick. Pop Eichfer. Okay, good skeletons. Good, good, good. Help me. Okay, it's good. The skeletons will help me defeat this enemy. Or try to at least. As long as I... As long as I make sure that the skeletons are closer to the troll rather than me. Oh. Okay, be careful here. Oh my god, he's just one-shotting everything. This is not good. Why can't I one-shot him? But at least we have Eichfer. Oh my god. Okay, Skillson, go for him, go for him, kill him! Okay. Nope. Guess I'll kill him for you. We'll just wait a few seconds. Just in case we have a tree falling. Oh, this is... Oh, there we go. Looks like we have an entire army coming towards us. At least we have a bunch of skeletons here as well. Kind of want to get all the hide here because... If we die, we'll need more troll hide in order to make a new set of troll hide gear. We do have a bunch of troll hide back at the base, but... I mean, depending on how much we die, we need more or less. Well, at least the ship is still here. That's a good sign. I'm quite surprised, actually, because usually when I get back to the boat, then Graylings or Necks or whatever are bashing up to their heart's content on the ship. Or the workbench here. Let's dump everything back to the ship. Everything that we do not need that will just weigh us down. Then we'll just make the portal and we will take it with E. Did I remember to change that to base? Yes, I did. I was thinking that I might have to sail all the way back, but uh, nope. We did change it. So we take the portal, we'll jump on the boat. I kind of want the boat a little bit closer. 
So we can actually go back and forth without getting the wet debuff. We don't want to be too close, however, because those guys over there probably want to bash on the boat. If that's the case. Oh, wait. There we go. Grab the egg. Uh, I mean, if I can get 50, 56 more weight off my chest, then I'll probably be able to carry two. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm just going to run through the black forest here. And then between the ice cave and motor, there's actually a quite steep hill where there aren't any mobs. Hopefully, I'll only get annoyed by the drakes. And I mean, we only have five minutes for Eichfer to be active, so that'll definitely help us as well. Wait, I just realized this mountain has dragon eggs. We have one over here. Why am I running all the way back to the boat to collect the dragon eggs that we've already collected when I can just go from uh, this distance? God damn it. Oh god, they were so dumb, and I can see there's a drake up there, which means there's a chance for another dragon nest up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check. 100%, I don't want to go all the way back to the boat here. If I can just go up from there to there. Okay, it doesn't look like there are any dragon nests here. The dragon died over here, but that doesn't mean there is nothing else further up. And I can also see a dragon over here, so maybe it's further this way. Oh, it's not so amazing if it's not caught by surprise. Come on, little Drake. Okay, are we hiding a little nest over here? Yes, no. I can see a nest. I think there's a nest down there. Yeah, that's a nest. Okay, let's just mark here and say dragon nest. It's probably a little bit further, but at least we know now where the direction is. Okay, let's take a look at this house here. Maybe there's something we can actually use. I mean, there's a chest. Ooh, frost arrows. 100%. And can we actually carry some obsidian? We can. Good. Onion seeds. Okay, okay. This is very good. Damn, best house ever. Now, since we have the onion seeds, we can finally grow onions, which will unlock a bit. Oh, <laughs> nice, a nest. Okay, I've seen this area before. Why haven't I noticed the nest? Or maybe I have and I've just forgotten. Who knows? Well, at least now we don't have to run all the way back just to get the dragon eggs. But we do have to go back to the ship in order to get some of the materials. And it's already starting to get dark around here, which is not good. Okay, we have the altar here. It doesn't look like we have any... Anyone nearby? What about down... A dragon egg more? Dragon nest. Well, at least we haven't been down there, so we haven't missed it. Let's attach the first item. Awesome. One out of three. Complete. Now, let's go down and get the other one. I really hope it won't be too much of a hassle, because we do have this mountainside here, and mobs usually do not spawn on them. I don't see any wolves. I don't see any Fenrir things, and... Are you kidding me? Is that a nest? Is that the same crystal I can see through the trees here? Oh my god, that's a nest. Valheim is usually not that generous. What is going on here? Okay, let's get the egg. I mean, I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna go. Hopefully, this will keep going. Two out of three eggs completed. Now we just need the last one and I'm not going back to the ship in order to get our dragon eggs when we have a nest nearby. However, again, we will have to go back to the ship in order to get the supplies, but... Damn. Okay, so this dragon nest over here was a little bit of a no-go because, damn, that was a lot of stuff, plus golems. But we did find a nice cave for later use, so that's awesome. But we also do have the dragon nest that we found or saw between the tree here next to the other dragon nest area that is... Wait, where was it? Yeah, over here somewhere, behind that tree. So, I mean, let's see if we can actually get to that one. Okay, Drakes, please, I don't need you right now. Yes, come to me. Almost perfect. Almost. And then we'll get the dragon egg. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's go back. Wait. Is that another ice cave? Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Ice cave. 
This mountain is amazing. It has everything. What's up with that? All right, we have all three dragon eggs ready, lined up. We can now summon Mordor when we want to. But before we do that, I'm going to have to change my equipment. We also need to make a portal up here somewhere where it doesn't get destroyed in, while we are fighting. And I also need to change the scene here a little bit. I'm thinking of using the gardening tool here to raise some ground so we can have a little bit of cover when he does the ice thingy. So yeah, can't wait.